guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account and we are looking at the Cursed Realm. So as meta comps change, as formations change, um, the Burning Brute formation does change a little bit. Um, we're going to go over the guide from Majestic. I haven't seen a guide from him actually in a little bit, but I want to go over it, guys, because it is phenomenal. It runs through a lot of different options when you're going through the Burning Brute and when you're going through other bosses. I hope he really stays up on the guides again because he has done an absolute amazing visual representation of the heroes that you can use over here. So I'm actually going to bring it up on this side and I'm going to save it because I want to run through the teams that I have in here and look at the variations that he has. Now, when it comes to a lot of variations, guys, it starts getting a little bit more difficult. So here in the first one, and again, looking over at his guide, we do not have um, Kayleen built out. I don't have her built out enough to really be effective in here. So we're gonna go with Audrey, which is good for a sub, and then we have Mortis, and then we have um, Baden, which is good. Team two, we have, of course, Teddy Bear, and then we have Scarlet, which is good. We have more real, we have Grez, so we're good there. Third one is Orthos or Taylene, or, or Orthos actually, Buffing up Taylene, that one I don't have. So my third team, um, we had Antandra Pina, and then we had, this was the Awakened version of Taylene, which again, I don't have. We're gonna have to go with a third kind of variation in here. Because um, I think with my Helos combination, we had this issue last time. Um, if I put Helos in here, or Halos, um, I'm not gonna have the ability to do a lot of the damage. I, I think he's gonna be too strong to be able to go in here, but they put Orthos in this formation. And again, I'm just really going through the formations we have there. So putting Orthos within this formation um, with Aziz, um, Halos with Silas, which I believe if the movement happens or the, the buffer is gonna happen, we're gonna to have to definitely adjust this formation. Let's drop uh, Silas in here. Then of course we have Taylene. Taylene, I need to make stronger. So essentially what happens is Ortho should allow Taylene to move. This one we have Mishka and Raku, which we do. Um, this is close to the meta formation. So he goes middle and then we have Lorzen in here. Again, for the linking and for the damage. Um, throwing off the rest of my formations. This one we have Brutus. So in here guys, it shows the awakened version of Brutus which again, we're gonna go over the guide in a couple minutes. And then we do have, um, and then Flora and Frampton. So interesting combination. We have Flora and we have Frampton and we have Lucretia. So this is the team that we're pushing for team five. And then the boss team, again, we have Anasta, which we're building out a little bit. We have Warwick in this formation. I wanna try it. I know I might not have these heroes built out quite to the level that they need to be but we are gonna drop Rain in here. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Awakened version of Thane. And then we're gonna go with Drez. Drez I've actually been building out a little bit more. This is gonna be my formations, guys. I'm gonna go through, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go through and just auto this because I wanna see exactly where we come. So 8.59, see 26%. We need to do a lot better than that. And I think it is that third team. 1.5, 1.2. See, 624, I think in here, when Orthos ults, this is kind of the problem, guys. Taylene is not strong enough for the ult. So there's the ult. See, Orthos is still moving. Taylene is frozen. Um, I'm gonna have to make some adjustments um, to, to make this one work, or I'm just gonna have to go with a different formation. Because the other variation of this formation is looking at team three. I'm gonna take this team out. And this is an interesting combination too. So he has Albedo, which we have right there. So Albedo, Setrana, which again is kind of an interesting combination. Um, Flora is actually in this one with Iran and then Skarath. So this is gonna essentially be the five pole looking at here, but then moving Flora out of this other combination which is team five. Again, they're running the same team in here, which is pretty interesting. I don't know if it's, it's gonna be worth it. So this one, this is the one that we ran last week was actually Brutus with our copy of Aziz um, and then Halos with Silas. And this buffers on 
um, Taylene doing damage. Let me try this one, and then we'll take a look at the guide. I, I want to see, again, kind of playing around with it. 9.1, so higher. We got to a 20 rank. I'm going to have to work around this a little bit, guys. But let's go ahead, and we will swap over, and we'll take a look at the guide. All right, guys, for this one, I'm going to drop on my camera. That way we can see it. Um, different formations, you can see this is kind of the green is the primary. Unable to receive additional stats and attributes during battle. Heroes with HP scaling damage or high base damage are very strong. A lot of good alternatives except for Battle 4. So Battle 4 is pretty limited to the alternatives. As you can see here, guys, running through just the meta formations. We have Kren, we have Oden, we have Kayleen, which again, I focus in um, Audrey because I do not have her built. Mortis and Baden within this formation. Um, Rosaline and Scarlet go together. We have Damon in here. Morio, which again, a lot of players do not have Morio built. So you can sub in the twins within this formation. And then Scarlet, guys, is the priority. If you don't know from now, um, it is really a strong, strong priority to build out Scarlet very early. Looking at the third formation, this is the one that I have problems with, guys. I'm going to have to take Helos. I'm going to have to drop his rating low enough to allow Taylene to move when Orthos ults, which I think will solve that again. It's going to take me um, a, a little bit to work around some of the some of the factors that he has in there to, to get the combat rating down to where I need to for three. But Entendre, another formation within here that does work incredibly well, but requires the Awakened version of Taylene. Then the third one is the five pull, which I ran. Again, not super effective. Um, this is really the primary one that you want to build. Or again, this is one where there's not very many subs in here, guys. Um, Kazar definitely having that plus 30 signature item. Raku and Mishka, of course, Mishka doing crowd control, Leonardo doing crowd control, and then Raku just dominating damage, guys. He is very similar to Scarlet, meaning that you need Raku, you need Mishka, and almost all of these formations to really be effective. Um, Soros in here as a sub. You can see, guys, Raku being built, and Raku is in a ton of the Cursed Realm, similar to Scarlet, similar to a lot of the other heroes that you see in here. They have a very very cognizant similar nature um team five since we did borrow brutus i'm gonna try running this team again once i get my team three kind of worked out i feel like it's gonna work um for the final one honestly i i know i need to build out a little bit more thane we can definitely build out a little bit more dress the exact same um putting furniture on him putting some engraving on him is really going to maximize the damage thane we already do have built um so it, it's kind of interesting to see the bested slot. I need the mitigation that we get from Anasa from her Brawler's Protection. But most heroes or most players will go with this last formation. Lucretia, again, a really, really big priority to have built. Um, Cecilia in here, not so much a huge priority, but you can see guys working our way into multiple formations. You have the Super Psycho here in the debuff with um, Laika being in here. And then, of course, Soros being the boss killer, keeping the team alive. With the plus 30 signature item again big shout out to uh, majestic absolutely love the guides guys we have been covering the guides from a lot of content creators for years at this point um you can see top to bottom position one to five mix and match however you want problem is when you're subbing out some of the heroes the formations um kind of go broken and that's what um that's what's kind of hard. It even says here, if you're missing investment in a key hero, don't use that team. Try using a lesser team instead. Um, checking some of his older guides on Reddit. Again, as free to play, some of these heroes like the Awakened version of Thane or Brutus, you're not gonna have built um, just because of the sheer cost of the heroes themselves. But a majority of the heroes, which you know I think of like Javi that has been playing for a significant amount of time, he has a majority of the meta heroes built. He even has some of the Awakened heroes built within here which works out incredibly well. Some of the newer heroes, even like with Kayleen, I don't have built out, um, takes a significant investment because she is a damage dealer, which means signature item, which means furniture, which means engraving, to really maximize the damage. In turn, I went again with Audrey because I'm building her out. I need her for the damage in the Celestial Tower. I have enough damage in the Graveborn Tower, which is kind of a change. And then in this one, guys, most players, again, do not have more real built out. Um, she is kind of a very niche hero. Halos is starting to get built out, but again, a lot of players do not have Orthos and do not have Orthos um, 
built out again that is going to be kind of viable to really be pushing um, within the meta comps. But the rest of the heroes, guys, most of them, if you're an older player, the old version of Taylene does work incredibly well. We see it in a couple of the Cursed Realm formations. Cecilia is another hero that does work incredibly well. Drez has a good debuff, um, which is the reason why you really boost the damage there from the Awakened Thane, as well as the combat rating of Anasta. But again, a lot of players don't have her built. Flora we get a lot of copies of, so there are a lot of heroes in here um, that can work with the viability. Um, it just does take a considerable amount of investment for some of the key heroes to work. And even looking at heroes like Antandra, um, if you don't have her built out quite a bit, she'll die pretty quick, which is unfortunate. A star, again, damage mitigation, but doing the healing aspect, the shielding aspect that we have with the Awakened version of Taylene. So guys, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about the first round team comps. Um, again, it seems like there are some key heroes in here that you do need to have some investment in. Um, as free to play, there, there's always tier lists out that focus on a lot of heroes, but when it comes to the newer heroes, guys, they're really expensive to build out, especially if you're looking on the damage aspect of a hero. Um, you do have to have them built out quite a bit. So guys, again, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.